Feminine ladies, marriage is supposed to make your life better, not worse. But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Marriage is supposed to make your life better, not worse. When you are a woman who desires to be married, if you marry someone who constantly has you in the masculine energy, you will know it. Being married and taking on a husband is supposed to make your life significantly better because now you have someone that's available to care for you, to provide for you, to protect you. And as a woman, you also give to the situation with your feminine presence and your wisdom and your nurturing spirit and your encouragement and supportive nature. However, as a woman, if you get married to a man who is feminine, you will know that straight away and you will feel it in your body. Many women are suffering from masculine woman burnout right now, even as married women, even as engaged women, because they are not in their feminine energy. And the man they're with doesn't have enough common sense to understand that she's not in her femininity because he's not in his masculinity. See, today, a lot of men are accustomed to women being able to bear all, withstand all, endure all, and be everything to everybody. And when a man has that kind of mindset, he comes into a marriage looking at a wife, not as someone that he's going to care for, take care of, love, and all of that. He looks at it as if now he has a mother figure in his life. He has someone who can complete him. And to my understanding, men are supposed to be complete before they meet you. A man shouldn't even fix his lips to say that he wants to get married if he doesn't understand that coming, what comes with the marriage is that you have obligations as a husband. And it's not just financial obligations. It is his presence as a man. There are a lot of women who are in relationships, long-term relationships, marriages, who don't feel protected or cared for, cared for. They feel very lonely in their relationships. I hear women say all the time that they're married, but they're alone. That is the most heartbreaking thing to hear, that a woman can be in a relationship with someone, but yet feel alone. And I think this happens when a man is accustomed to the woman taking control of everything. And it's not to say that this is the woman's fault because once again, if a man is in his masculine nature, he will put structure and order in place, especially if he is a man of God, he understands his role as a man. But this newer generation, they really don't understand that when you have a wife, you have to take care of her, not just materialistically, but you have to be there emotionally, spiritually. You need to be someone that she can actually lean on. I'll tell you, there are a lot of men today that are worth not nothing. They're worth nothing. Just like a lot of women nowadays are the same. I have to say that because this internet likes to get confused, but I speak to women. But there are a lot of men who look at women like what's that song i think about that song that neo made it's a it's a bop but it's stupid um it says she got her own thing that's why i love her that is a bum anthem i miss the songs where you know babyface said i'll buy your clothes i'll cook your dinner too as soon as i get home from work i'm not gonna sing but you get the point. You see how things have changed. Men went from speaking about their women as if how much they want to care for them as to now they're speaking, the more the woman is independent, the more I love her. And a masculine man doesn't want that. He doesn't want to be with someone who doesn't need him. He wants to feel needed. And a feminine woman wants to be with a man that she can lean on. But today, a lot of men are like, uh, you know, the old folks used to say back in the day, wishy-washy. These men, you know, they're very feminine. Like they want to be us, even in relationships a lot of times. They're looking to be the dainty little princesses in the relationship. And I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of that is the fault of the woman. 
I see a lot of these little TikTok videos where women are, you know, doing these facials on their men and the men are no longer just getting haircuts. Now they got to get a full facial. They got to get all this different stuff done. They're babying them. And I don't know about you, but I want my man to still be a little rough and rugged. He doesn't need all that. Let me be the one getting all that additional pampering and skincare and all that stuff. You don't need to be that way as my man. But I say that to say that women are conditioning men to be soft. You're creating something that you really don't want as women. And when the man turns around and he starts acting saucy sassy and asking you, why didn't you get the car oil change? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you pay the bill? Women will have to sadly look at themselves and say, did I create this monster? Did I make my husband a little too soft in his femininity, femininity that he doesn't have? Did I kind of get into that masculine way of being that gave a signal to my husband or to my fiance that he can rest as a masculine man? Now, a true masculine man, he's not going to find that acceptable. You can try to be in the driver's seat and he will just let you know, like, no, I got it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead. I remember one time me and my husband, we were getting in the car. And every time we get in the car together, I always say, you know, I can drive. And he said, no, just, just be the wife. And the old way I used to be, the more masculine way I used to be, I took offense to that. What do you mean just be the wife? What does that mean? What are you trying to say? But when I realized being the wife, and in essence, what he was saying is, just be the passenger princess. Just sit there, enjoy your little drink that you're drinking. You know, look at your phone, do what you're doing. I have the driving. Don't worry about that. And he never lets me drive. I mean, never. He drives. And instead of me looking at that as offensive and him saying that I can't drive, I look at it as, okay, that's one less thing I have to do. I have a chauffeur. And I think as women especially when you are coming off of being more in the masculine energy, when you look at it that way, you will tend to lean more into your femininity in your relationship and allow your man to really lead. So when it comes to getting married, and I say all this to say that your man, he is supposed to make your life better, not because he's giving you every little thing that you want materialistically, but because he is a man who is a leader and understands the feminine masculine dynamic. When you're with a man who understands the feminine masculine dynamic, he will allow you, not that you need permission, but his actions will allow you to be able to rest in your femininity. He's not going to come to you and say, babe, they stole the car. What are we going to do? Babe, you know, um, the kids got into this, you know, and the, the dad is acting crazy. What are we going to do? Like you have some men, when things get really tough, they will look at their wives, look at their girlfriends, their fiancés and say, what are we going to do? 3 a.m. in the morning and something goes down, somebody's knocking, banging at your door. Your old masculine way of being as a woman your first instinct might be to run and see what's going on. But if you have a whole man laying next to you as a woman and he doesn't flinch to go see and let you do it, that is a feminine man and he has you in danger. A feminine man will always have a woman in danger because he does not know how to lead nor does he attempt to try. So I say all this to say that once again, when you get married, a husband, he is supposed to make your life significantly better. That's not to say that you're going to have all the diamonds and rubies and jewels that the world can provide. I'm not saying he makes it better only in that way. I'm saying that you should feel comfortable enough to say, I'm going to rest today. I'm not doing anything. I, If you're a working woman, I'm not going to work. And I know that I can do that because I have a man who has it. If you are married and you can't afford to rest, you are with a feminine, unmasculine man who lacks leadership skills. As women, this is very important to understand because if you desire to be married or if you want to switch the dynamic in your relationship, 
There are certain things you can do, but it takes for you as a woman to lean into your femininity. It takes for you as a woman to understand that the way you have been being in your relationship possibly is not getting you the result that you desire. And many men are not traditionally really feminine. It's that sometimes women are so strong-willed in nature that a lot of men will just throw their hands up and say, you do it. I know earlier on in my marriage, there were certain things that I was doing that my husband, I think he just got weary of me, you know, nagging and complaining and saying different things and being like, you know, like that all the time where he just let me have it. He let me burn myself out to realize that I was out of alignment with who I'm supposed to be as a woman. God showed me that I was out of alignment with who I'm supposed to be as a woman. So when you understand that and you really begin to lean into your femininity and let your man do and be how he's supposed to do and be, don't fight against it. I know that might be your instinct as a woman who is accustomed to being that alpha female, that alpha woman, but don't fight against it. I'll give you something that's even, you know, more relevant. I'm not relevant, but more recent for me. Just this morning, my children just started school and my husband has to be to work at nine o'clock. Um, I'm not working or anything, but I was a little bit tired. I felt myself, you know, I got up later to not take them to school. So, you know, so it was getting close to time. And he told me, I'll take them to school. I'll also go get your um, pass. We get on the trains and stuff. He said, I'll do all of that. And my first instinct was to say, no, but you have to go to work. I'll do it, yada, yada, yada. And I had to stop myself and think, okay, he sees me resting. He offered to do it. Don't fight against it. Let him do it. If he thought he was going to be late for work, he would have never offered to do it. Don't say anything other than, thank you, sweetie. Thank you, honey. And I had to really like have this self-talk with myself in order to just say, okay, sweetie, thank you. Instead of saying, no, you're going to be late for work. No, I can take them. Let me just get dressed real quick. No, I'll take them. I just said, thank you, sweetie. And I sent my kids off to school, gave them a kiss, have a wonderful first day of school. So something as simple as letting them do it and not constantly giving pushback and trying to be the one to always do things. When you have a man who is trying to lighten your load, even in things that might seem small, that man is making your life better. Don't believe the things that are out today about how a man, if he can't take you on five star trips all the time or get you the most expensive things, that that's the only way a man shows his value. It's also a man making your life better by making things more convenient for you. Once again, allowing you to rest in that feminine energy. So if he is providing, if he is protecting, if he is allowing you to rest your body, my husband, I thank God for my husband. And I'm not saying this to brag or boast, but I thank God for my husband. He will do laundry. He will cook. He will do all of that while working. If he sees that I'm tired or maybe I'm busy doing something else, he'll do it without hesitation. And very rarely do I have to ask him. Being married to a man who knows how to cook, that is a blessing. That's another way that a husband can make your life easier when he is more self-sufficient, when he's not coming to you, looking at you as his live-in help, but as his feminine woman, his help meet. He understands that just because there are some domestic things around the house that needs to be done, that doesn't automatically mean woman does it. He can do it. That's another way a marriage, a man, a husband can make your life better. He lightens your load, not just financially, but in every area of life. I do laundry, I cook, I do all those kind of things. But knowing that I don't have to, there's a difference when you don't have to do something and when you have to do it. I know that if I don't cook, he will still eat and my children. A man is supposed to lighten your load. That is my whole point of this video. So as a woman who desires to be married, be mindful of the type of man that you are entertaining now and the type of man that you give your time and attention to. And then also be mindful to stay in that feminine energy because you don't ever want to be in the position where you are the masculine one in your relationship 
And now you have to take on all the things that he should be doing because either he has just surrendered to your strong nature or he just doesn't have leadership within him. Marriage is supposed to make your life better, not worse as a woman. All right. Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. And if you have not gotten the book, How to Be a Feminine Woman, The Blueprint, I will leave the link in the description box below. I absolutely appreciate you. Take care.